Hey guys, Coach Ryan here. In this episode of DePraw Power Skating, yes, the power skating coach actually knows how to shoot. Talking about snapshots, coming up next. Yeah. Coach Ryan here at the Mad Scientist Laboratory DePraw Power Skating Studios. And though back in the day I wasn't known for my hands, known for my skating, I actually had a pretty wicked shot for a smaller guy. So we're going to be walking you through some beginner to intermediate pieces of having a great snapshot. So the first piece, and this is something that you don't have to go to the rink to work on. You can work in your garage and you just have to know that off ice shooting is different than on ice shooting. And if you're shooting off your stick handling tiles is way different, especially because the height differential, number one, being in your sneakers, and number two, your body moving through the shot, right? Which a lot of people and beginner players mistakenly think that the shot is all in the upper body, in the arms, and in the wrists, and they don't work on until it's too late, understand that your weight transfer from your back to your front foot is a big part of your shot, right? So let's get into just some of the basics and then we can talk about flexing your stick and some different type of shots. Though a lot of high level players, including the pros, do a lot of back foot snapshots off their back foot, I'd highly advise not to train that way and forgo working on your back to front weight transfer and putting your weight through the entire shot. Now better yet, if you're on rollerblades shooting at home, you can at least get your body to move through the shot instead of staying stationary in your sneakers. But if you are in your sneakers, just be aware that you need to move your body and bring all of that weight and power through the shot. Number one, I'm gonna show you the incorrect way. So this would be a lot of players using just their upper body, their arms, and their wrists, right? Not really transferring weight. So what I like to start off doing is actually going through the wrist shot motions, but better yet, not using a puck at all and getting players to bend their back knee to their front knee and even adding a little bit of jump in there and then gradually showing them that the deeper the lunge, the more power comes through, right? Off your front skate. So that would be the first thing to do. I'd say imagine there's a puck right there, right? And this can work for slap shots too, but that would be a different video. And all I want you to do is pull back, bend your back knee, right? And your back skate, and then just do a little bit of a hop onto the front and get that motion down, right? And then you can start pretending like you're putting in the snap. After you rep through that and you can feel the weight transfer and you can see your player being able to go onto a front lunge, then it's time to add the pucks. And a lot of times as soon as you add the pucks, they go right back to no knee bend, no weight transfer and shooting all from their upper body, right? So the one thing that you can do is just sit there and remind them. Bend your back knee to the front, and then snap. Back knee to the front with a little jump and a little pop, and snap. Now, after you have that down, you can kind of reverse engineer the process and break it up into individual aspects, right? To over-exaggerate, build that muscle memory, 
that quick twitch snap and focus on different elements of the shot. So for example, a great drill would be pull back like a wrist shot, come through slow motion, and once you get to that front foot lunge, speed everything up sonic speed, add in the quick snap and the power, right? Slow, bend that back knee. As they pull through, make sure their eyes are up on target. And then put in the quick snap, so it would look like this. Slow, eyes are up on target, quick snap. Slow, quick snap, big lunge. Then after they've got that down, and they've mastered the weight transfer, that would be a good time to explain the difference between coming off that front foot for a snapshot and off the back foot for a snapshot. And it's the same thing when you're going off the back, but when you're leaning away, you're gonna have to add more flex on that stick with the top hand, or you're not gonna get as much power. You're actually pulling back instead of putting all your weight through that shot. So the back foot snapshot looks like this. Some players actually don't lift their front leg when they do it, but a lot of players kick back, get that flex, and really take advantage of the wrist snapping and flexing the stick as they lean away onto that back skate. Now one of the last components I would make sure that any player works on is to master skating through the shot. One of my big heroes growing up, nobody better than Joe Sackick. Not only does it take the goalie by surprise because they can't get set up and they don't expect it, keeping your skates moving without stalling and pausing doesn't give the back checker any chance to catch up to you, steal the puck, and turn the play the other way. So that would be my last bit of advice, is work on your player instead of just standing still doing stationary shooting, learning how to skate and shoot off of the stride. It looks like this. That's it for another episode of Depra Power Skating. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, leave your comments down below. Oh, and if you haven't figured out by now, one of my favorite players of all time is number 99. And I hope you have a great one. See you next time.